What's up, guys? Welcome back. We have some breaking news today. The motherboard of the Switch 2 has been revealed and dissected by a YouTube channel named Geeker Wan, and they are known for doing this, actually, with other pieces of hardware and everything, and we're going to take a look at this. I've already skimmed through it a little bit, and it's actually really interesting. There's some positives and maybe some negatives here to, to go about, but there's still some information we don't know just yet about the Switch 2 because this device doesn't actually still work that they have. They are able to scan it, but they actually are not able to turn it on. So apparently this motherboard and the console was leaked. And, you know, since Nintendo hasn't actually released a console yet and released the OS for everybody to use, you can't really turn the system on or this one simply just doesn't work from the factory. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this really quick. It's going to be translated um from a different language <laughs> and uh we're gonna see what it says here but it's really interesting i think it's really cool information that you guys really must see it's breaking news so let's take a look yeah, yeah, so this is reported to, to me actually just a few weeks ago that somebody had this, and I didn't really pay much attention to it because, you know, this had already been leaked, the motherboard, but we just didn't know the size, you know, and certain specifications of it because no scans had been done, so I didn't really pay too much attention, but now we have it, now we have some information. Even he was skeptical. Right. Yeah, we have the the same. Looks like it's the same exact chip. Yeah. 说实实那是快，赶紧我们就花了一千块买下了这个主板啊！现在呢，就到了我手上了。那这个主板我已经帮你们试过了，它通电之后是点不亮的，不知道是因为损伤还是因为缺少其他的硬件，还是说它压根本
。结果不费吹灰之力啊，就找到了老黄给我们留下的标记啊。没想到啊 ，Switch 二的这个芯片，它的名字真的就叫。And there it is, T239. That's what it's like. The chip is inside of there. Of course, the chip itself is named something else. There's no markings of T239 on the actual chip on the outside, but the internals is basically what is being designed on the inside of the chip. So that's kind of like what they found here is that it's based on this chip. That it is T239. Yeah, it bring out. It's kind of crazy that they're finding this. That it's gonna the chip was tapped out in 2021 is gonna be used in 2025. That is kind of crazy, but with what they're doing with Switch Two, I this is pretty impressive stuff. But let's continue. This is already is old Luo and Luo working together. Very likely, it's going to be released earlier. Switch Two is very likely to be released earlier. Yeah, a lot of people assume that maybe 2023 ish time, but it was postponed to 2025. Yeah, it's going to be released earlier. Yeah, a lot of people assume that maybe 2023 ish time, but it was postponed to 2025. Yeah, we saw that. All right, so we have the GPU, 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 the
even though it's a little older, which is unfortunate that they had to wait this long, but it is what it is. I am, I'm really impressed by it so far. And, but we're going to see what else I can do here real quick. Talk about the process. All right. All right. So I'm, like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description where we can't watch the entire video. But he gives some examples of other die shots and uh, sizes versus other chips. And he brings out that this T239 chip is actually closer to 10 nanometers, which is bigger than what people were expecting. But in actuality, it's more so basically 8 nanometers because the 8 nanometers to 10 nanometers uh, that Samsung makes are pretty much, you know, very similar. Yeah, at present, the 8 nanometer process is based on 10 nanometers customized by uh, NVIDIA from Samsung. Yeah, so this does look like it's going to be 8 nanometers. And they bring out here that they can't really say exactly the frequencies of this chip yet because they can't really turn it on and test it. They're, they, this is where they're doing the guess, guessing and you know estimating which is the same thing that Digital Foundry did by estimating a RTX 2050 in performance because they had to remove CUDA cores and downclock it to compensate. So, so that's what they did here with this. They give some examples of simulated performance of Cyberpunk 2077 running in an RTX 2050, <clears throat> just, just as an example. But the cool thing is, if we take a look uh, at this, they even got... Black Myth Wukong running on this as well, right here, you see? So, uh, obviously, like, the DLSS that Switch 2 is using, we talked about it in our previous video, it's amazing. So, it's not this. This is not the actual performance performance of Switch 2 that they even show Monster Hunter Wilds running on this thing, which already runs bad and looks bad already. So, they... They bring out here, they, they can't really simulate exact performance of a Switch 2 with actual hardware. It's just impossible. This is a custom-made chip. So we're going to be seeing games that run better than this on Switch 2. But they do have some interesting examples of Call of Duty and uh, Doom Eternal running on this thing at really good frame rates. So even stock hardware that this could actually simulate, even though it's not that for Switch 2, can actually run really well. So this is very interesting. And so, yeah, like we said, though, they can't confirm the actual clock speeds, but they did actually simulate the CPU. The CPU, they can simulate because that's more of a known quantity, but they, they can't actually simulate the GPU very well, like, like they talked about, because they don't have the system actually running. And uh, it's it's just unknowns for that part. But they actually it looks like we have eight nanometers confirmed, which explains the lower battery life. And basically, it's having to downclock it quite a bit. It looks like in portable mode. It looks like dock play is the way to go for Switch Two. But they do talk about the CPU here. Does not sound too shabby at all, right? And with this same CPU, like, you know, basically using the similar type, types of performance of that CPU, they're, they're saying that, you know, it's really not that bad. So, we haven't really heard anybody talk about the CPU of Switch 2, so I think this is pretty decent, you know, actually, for this level of performance for a mobile console like the Switch 2. Getting something like Doom Eternal to run at 120 frames per second, they showed it there. Call of Duty, for example, and the optimizations that they're going to be using that we've already seen, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cyberpunk 2077, these other uh, third-party games, Nintendo's first-party games. It looks like this is a really, really well-made console, and like the specs really just don't tell you the full story. Um, <clears throat> they're basing the, the clock speeds off of rumor that we don't know for sure. Because, like we said, the console does not quite work yet. So, yeah, that is basically the Switch 2 motherboard. Been leaked and taken apart. And I think this is very impressive for what they're doing. 
we don't have the system working final yet. So this is part one kind of like, we're gonna see the actual full teardown of an actual retail unit when it's finalized. This seems like they got it from a production model <clears throat> that is not completed yet, not an actual finished console. So probably it's pretty much gonna be the same thing, but we need to see that final retail hardware and see what actually the internals are of the system when it's actually turned on like in its BIOS basically, or in its OS to see what it's running for all the clock speeds. And then to have those people who do have that, all the hardware to do that, to test it, then we'll see for sure all the information right up for what Switch 2 can do. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Breaking news, of course. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you very soon in the next one. Have a great day.